My name is Daniel Brandis, and I teach in both the Foundation Year program at King's and the Contemporary Studies program. What is your favorite spot to spend time on the King's campus? Uh, well, I suspect my answer to this question won't be original to me, but my favorite spot on campus is our library. It's glorious. It's such a marvel inside. It's beautiful. It's quiet. Um, there are books everywhere, and there's, there's been an effort made to keep the place lofty uh, and lovely. So when you're in there, you really feel the spirit of the place and the sense of the, the, our, our academic mission. Do you speak another language? I do speak German, uh, some French, and Hebrew. And I think Hebrew is my favorite uh, foreign language um, that I'm able to speak. I'm able, I've been able to introduce some uh, strains of Hebrew into some FIP lectures that I've given. Uh, and I think they've improved, I hope they've improved the lectures for the students. Which 20th century philosopher would you most like to have over for dinner? Well, this is a no-brainer for me. Uh, I would absolutely invite Hannah Arendt to my home for dinner. She's the subject of most of my scholarly work. I'm fascinated by her. I'm especially impressed by the ferocity and confidence of her powers of judgment. So I would love to share an evening uh, chatting with her about her judgments of our current historical situation. What is your favorite art movement? Um, I think that uh, largely on account of my wife, Dawn, who's a theater scholar, I've come to know the futurists in a way that I might not have done. And uh, I'm a kind of a champion of the futurists. I don't know them very well yet, but what I do know of them is exciting to me. They, they were bold and um, radical, and I'm struck by the passion and power of their ideas. What is your favorite part about teaching at King's? Oh, I, I love virtually everything about teaching at King's. Uh, probably the students who we are able to attract to the campus who are so um, energetic and passionate and dedicated and often heroic, I think, in their commitment to ideas in a world which is not always supportive of such a commitment. So I feel deeply grateful to be